Welcome back everybody. So we have something really cool that we are going to show you guys today. We have a uh, another sponsorship video um, from Lost Fit. Uh, we, if you guys remember, uh, check out the video up in the upper right hand corner there. We did some pod lights on the hood for some ditch lights. Um, installed them, tested them out. They worked really good. They reached back out to us. They wanted to test their new product, the Rock Lights. Um, they're white and amber lights. So let's get started on talking about this and see what they sent us. Check it out. This is the kit that they sent us. Um, it is four pods. It is eight capable, I think going up to eight pods total. I'll have to double check that, but um, here's the harness for it. It comes with an on off switch. We'll be modifying this a little bit because we are running the Ox beam controller up in the dash, um, which if you guys want to see that, that's down below. We have a whole bunch of video on that as far as how well it works and whatnot. If you guys remember, these are the lights here that Lost Fit sent us the first time. We've been using these. They work amazing. Help us out on the trails. Um, now these are the rock lights here. These are white and amber lights. I know they're not RGB, but just first feel on them, they actually feel pretty good. They're actual metal. Um, so the most pod lights I usually get before are all plastic and not very good in my eyes but this one here feels a lot better it feels like real glass and stuff so we're going to test these out and replace out the ones that we destroyed when we went out to merit and go from there so let's get started on getting these installed and let's take a look at some of the other pod lights as we start pulling them off of some of the use that we've had by they've been on there so check it out so this is the original controller here the we bought this here off amazon it was a cheap led rock light, rock light kit from pretty much china um hasn't it hasn't worked very well um we used it the lights when we first got them were super bright they worked out really good but now over the years they've gone down and you can see as this kit here this kit here has kind of been destroyed a little bit um some of the plastics we've been missing on this here is exposing pins and stuff so we're going to get this all uninstalled we're also going to get this cleaned up it's been a while since we've done anything underneath here i want to try to get this all cleaned up get some of these rock lights taken off of here that we don't need no more and go from there and start putting this all back together with some nicer rock lights and test these out and see how well Lost Fit compares to cheap Chinese stuff. So check it out. There is all the mess we've yanked out of here so far for all the wiring. Most all the other wiring we yanked out when we were down in Maris. So I think that's about the rest of it that we've got all out of there. Um, we are getting a drill because we have to kind of drill into the top here because we are center mounting these because they're so much brighter. We don't need two in them. Before the configuration was we had one in the front, one in the back on each one of these wheels. And then we had one, two in the front, two in the back on the bumper area. Not a, not, not a good suggestion. So um, we're going to get this all going. And I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to seeing what this thing is going to look like. When it's all. And if you guys have not seen the video we did for Lost Fit before, check it up in the upper right hand corner. We will put that out there. Um, the lights are amazing. We like them. They're way brighter than the cheap Chinese night lights that we bought off of Amazon from China. Um, these really, this is a company over California. It's actually, I think, starting to take off. They're doing a lot more for off-roading and other stuff. So I think that's a really good opportunity for you guys to check it out. If you guys have not seen it yet, you guys can get 20% off if you guys hit the JK Bronco 20 code that we have down below there um, on your next order from Las Vegas. Okay, so one hole drilled. How did you drill a hole? I just spun it. <laughs> it's a felt kind of cover, so it really isn't much to drill through. Can you see it? Kind of crappy design in my eyes from Ford, but work with what you got. Your design is weird. You can actually see your point. well in the well thingy. So we have this pod light here. Plastic, cheap, RGB. It's Dang got three little pods, and you can see the huge difference where it goes compared to these. Yeah. Look at the size comparisons. That's huge. Different. I know this only has two, but like it's it looks like it's built way better. Like, what do you think? 
Like, we've also had those a lot longer. I know, we beat the crap out of these things, but they didn't <laughs> last for nothing. You can see it too. I know, like, these like things have melted. been abused. So, there's that. We're going to see how good they And we're going with these ones. Let's get these all installed and let's test them out. I know Darius is super excited to see what it's going to look like when we blow underneath. So, yeah. let's keep going. Because I might do it. Okay, here's the first one we have all set up. Let's get a good look up under there. So that's that one there. Hey, Darius, can you switch this over to Amber? Give us one second. Still got the old, old pot I still got to get out of there. There's a little switch? light switch in there. A little power yeah. switch. Flip the other way. And that's Amber. So Amber's going to be good when we're on, like... Areas where it, we don't want to attract a lot of bugs, where there's gonna be water and stuff, so it's actually a good thing. So let's get this all wrapped up. Let's get that old pod taken out and finish it up. Okay, so as we finish up, that's what we have left. Um, all the wires are pulled. Pods are installed. Well, actually, can't say that. Darius is over here installing the last pod. Open this out on the passenger side. Thanks for that. Got some zip tying. We got to finish up and. We got the engine bay somewhat cleaned up. I still got a few more wires and stuff I got to finish cleaning up over here, but for the most part, we're getting it all cleaned up and kind of tucked away. Um, some of these wires is a big bundle of mess because of all these adapters here. So once we get this all finished zip tied here, it'll look a lot better. As you can see, the zip, zip tying over there across the, across the front there looks way better. So let's get this finished up and let's see what they look like. Okay, so check it out. These are the lights. They look freaking awesome look way better than the RGB cheap Chinese ones. What do you guys think? Give us a message down below. I'll also link a video to what the other ones used to look like. We'll wait for it to get a little bit darker so we can kind of see what these ones look and the ampers look go from there but i think that looks way better it's going to give us more light up underneath there i think and like i said it's still pretty pretty daylight out so we won't be able to really tell until it gets darker um, but it should give us a whole bunch more light when we're trailing on those trails and then give us the amber at night to kind of give us some ambient light in some of the darker areas okay so why we wait for it to get dark i want to talk a little bit about stuff we have not had a chance to introduce some stuff that we got going on here we have over here behind me a little ski boat that we've been working on and those videos are going to be dropping in the next few weeks um we have the jeep trailhawk we really haven't done anything with the camper's not here but we got darius's sc that we we're going to be working on we got the wrap in we're gonna get that all wrapped up he's going to start driving in here soon um and then xander of course up in illinois he has been working religiously on this ls swap we're going to get an update from him in the next few weeks and hopefully he's got some good footage for us as he's working through the details and learning how expensive it is to LS swap a 300Z, right? He was complaining about it the other night. It was funny, but he, I think he's got most of the parts now so he can finish up the project. And I think it's gonna be an amazing project once he gets it all done. Um, he's following it through. I think that's, I'm, I'm really proud of him for that. So I think that's a good thing. So let's wait for it to get a little bit darker. And I hope you guys are liking the content. If you guys are, make sure you guys smash that like button. Make sure you guys comment down below. What do you think of these lights? What do you think of other pod lights out there? Are these comparable to that kind of stuff? What other ones are you guys running out there on your different vehicles? It doesn't have to be the Bronco Sport. It can be just about anything else. But, man, I'm like dirty. Holy crap. This was a super simple install for us because we already had rock lights in here. So the holes pretty much lined up. We had to drill a couple of small little holes in there just to make it match just right but for the most part it actually lined up really good didn't take us that long um super simple so i'm giving this a probably a eight out of ten on the lost fit um as far as the quality and the the packaging and everything um they could have done a little bit better on giving us a little bit longer wire for the rears um we did have to modify one of them just to make it reach back there so that it was done right because what we learned on off-roading is you have to tuck your wires super good. If you don't tuck your wires, you are gonna run into what we ran into with Maris and it's gonna be terrible. You're gonna destroy your equipment. So we ran in a different way that is more guarded and more protected now. So we shouldn't run into that problem. So any advice back to Lost Fit, that's what I think you guys should do. Make the rears a little bit longer 
for you to be able to get to the, some of the distances. I get that you're gonna have some of this stuff go to the middle of the vehicle, but reality of it is a lot of people like this centralized system now under the hood where it's easy to work on, manage, do what they need to. So that's my feedback to you guys. We are looking forward to seeing this at night. So hope you guys like the video. We got some stuff coming after the video. Make sure you stay tuned so, so you guys can see what it looks like at night. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Anything else? Let us know what color we should paint the wheels on the SC because we got to redo those. So we're going to have to retouch them and color them. So let us know in the comments. Let us know. And make sure you guys subscribe and share the content. See you guys.